I have constantly challenged myself in really finding out how to do things I don't know how to do and not having an ego to do them correctly but to just do them and then let things unfold and then fix them as the journey continues but it's very challenging to uh, want something and not know how to do it. I don't I don't know how to do a brand I just I but I felt like I had to do this brand and it started off with just making one product and just conceptualizing it and uh, even I created it and then I realized that I have to explain what it is and I had to give directions for how to use it and I had to package it and I had to solve these uh, you know I tackled them one by one from like finding out the size of the font to um, you know knowing what should go on there and what shouldn't uh, and you know the conceptualization uh, is challenging and I love it I love the challenge the reason why I keep going is I really want these products to be a ambassadors to the region because I care about the region and I think it's uh, full of treasures that we haven't really tapped into um, there's been a gap and uh, I feel like there needs to be a connection again and I care about the GCC a lot and uh, I want it to be represented globally somehow and I also want people to start conceptualizing on their own because it's, first of all it's very challenging it's um, it's he more healing to you than bringing in a franchise it's that healing process of really remaining genuine and prioritizing and finding out how you can solve your own problems without bringing in a franchise that will solve it for you or something like along those lines. I wanted the answers to come from within. So just like I want them to come from within myself, I want them to come from within the GCC, from within Bahrain, from within the Gulf. It was very challenging for me at the beginning about my hours. Um, I left work and I was afraid of you know, will I ever make it on time to work, to my work? <laughs> and I didn't know when to stop working. Like, I didn't know how to begin because I would wake up late and I would show up to work at 11 and I would think, oh my God, no, I can't do that. I have to be earlier. So when I employed someone, I was actually, the, the person I employed was there at nine. So I'm like, oh my God, I have to be there at nine too. It's about you know finding your hours and then you know you're not gonna finish all your work at the end of the day that's not gonna happen and you have to be at peace with it the bigger dream i think there are times when i was challenged uh when i can't see the vision and that's like the most depressing time ever but when i when i do see the vision sometimes it's like yeah it's that I have to hold on to that. Um, Lena, that's real. Yani, I don't think vision should ever be discounted. It's it's really real. Like I, I, I think we have to treasure that more because I think a lot of times people shrug it off because it's in the future and it's not there. So um, that's what I think I, I had to make peace with. Today, after being challenged and being depressed and being happy, um, I do feel that I have a strong vision again. So I, I've lost the vision and then I, I pick it up. And, and sometimes every time you pick it up, you pick it up stronger than the beginning. So it's, it's, it's there. I think to conceptualize and manifest things, you have to be okay with uh, not, you know, it's not going to come out perfect the first time. I always suggest just fold your sleeves, just do it. Because when you do it, you'll find out what's wrong with it. <laughs> and
and because then it's like a reality check from your dream. So then, uh, okay, it's something as simple as making a cake. The first recipe is going to be horrible, maybe. Like the first time I made bread, it was like a brick. I could build with that brick, and and then there was a process that we had to develop and. From that process, that's where the learning experience happens. But, okay, you have the dream, do like a, a brain dump, and then fix it, because that's how it works. And uh, sometimes ego gets involved, and people feel like they want to manifest something that's already perfect. And it's very challenging for your ego because you, you're out there with something that you know is not perfect yet and you want to perfect it. And but it's going to take time, it's going to take money, it's going to take more learning. But it's got to be there and people will appreciate it at every level it is. I think people have to build on their passion. So when you find yourself being interested in something or when something small excites you, don't let that, don't shrug that off. Like, don't think that that's okay to shrug off or it's, you know, inconvenient or any of that. If it gives you energy, if you uh, think about it and it somehow excites you, I think you need to study it, look at it in different ways, enjoy it, and accept the things that excite you uh, so that you can open yourself to them. Because sometimes we're always like, oh, there's, you know, let's just pick the generic way of everything. And, and we lose that touch. And I also believe that one must be true to themselves. And, and to be that, you need to not shrug off those little passions. They're very small. And for a while I used to say fixation leads to the best exploration. Um, I think fixation is a bit negative. I don't want it to be like an obsession. Those are all like bad terms. Because it is actually positive. It's, um, balance is always important, but to just look at the things you like because that is, um, you need that. You need to explore it. It's there for you to explore it. That, that nudge is there for you to, so you can develop it. I definitely think we can do this. We can all do this.